Hello everyone and welcome to another video. The more astute amongst you might have been able to notice that I am in fact not sat in a hotel room in London. This is at my desk in Edinburgh. So the memory card that I was using to film everything whilst I was down in London got corrupted and I lost some of the files. It wasn't too much of it really but the intro was gone so I am now going to be speaking to you in the future about the things that I was about to do in the past, so make sense of that one. But before we go any further, a couple of things to ask from you. If you do enjoy the video at any stage, do drop it a like, a comment, and make sure that you've subscribed down below. Just take your finger, a little journey, just navigate all those obstacles, and just hit subscribe. Thank you very much, much appreciated. What I would have said, had this been in real time, is what I'm gonna be doing today is running you through what a day in London, training-wise, food-wise, etc., etc., looks like. We were on the 6 a.m. flight from Edinburgh into Gatwick and got to the hotel at about 8, 8.30-ish. We just got there with the aim of dropping off our bags and they actually managed to check us in, which was very, very handy. So I used that opportunity to say, I'm about to get changed and then head off for breakfast about 10 minutes down the road and then I will take you through the rest of the day in real time, rather, than from the perspective of being in the future in Edinburgh at my desk and I will see you there. And we are good to go. So just about to head off, 25 past nine, heading to Megan's on the King's Road for coffee, cake, brunch, maybe a few other things. Who knows, I'm starving. My overnight oats that I made for breakfast got confiscated at security because they hadn't quite become viscous enough to be passed as not a liquid, which was kind of embarrassing and I did argue if I could tip out a little bit of liquid on the top and then stir it again, it would cease to be a liquid, but that didn't fly, funnily enough. Who could have seen that coming? Anyway, without further ado, let's see what I'm going to get to eat. At CrossFit Putney, lower body session, part one of the day. I've got some sprints down by the riverside later on. What rhymes with pontage? Nothing rhymes with montage. Montage in three, two, one. Yeah. Whoop. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. One thing I taught myself to do, no matter the problem, refuse to lose. So, how you want it, man? You can choose. If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. See, I walk in slow and ignite the room. Like fire, everything I touch, I consume. I'm getting up while y'all just snooze. While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever but owns the place, gotta drag me out. I, in me, I trust. Yeah, I smell like success. This Elon Musk, huh? Everybody wanna be like us. We don't stop, cause the top just ain't enough, huh? I ain't never gay, no fucks. I ain't scamming. You know black men don't blush, huh? Came here ready to fight on this night. You better just run for your life. Won't you come and see what it's like Living by the rules that you write You ain't all those lavish delights Now you had no back in sight All the little lies you recite Just make sort of sense All right, and we are back at the hotel Just coming up to 3 p.m. now And we decided to take the long way home Walked about 45, 50 minutes Just along the embankments, taking in some of the sites that we already know quite well, has lived here for two years, but nonetheless, it's nice to be in a new place. What a novelty that seems like these days, so just enjoyed that, nice day, decent amount of steps, big feed tonight, so just wanted to get as much volume in as possible. But that is that, just coming up to three now, as I've said, gonna crack on with a little bit of work before I head to Battersea Park for five by one K at 3.30 to 3.45 minute per mile. No, that would be very fast. 3.30 to 3.45 minute per kilometer pace with 90 to 120 seconds walking rest between sets. Battersea Park's great for it, you can just do loops. So it's 1.4 miles to the park, which I'll use my warm up and cool down. And then I've got five by one K as I 
ago so I'll let you know how I get on but I actually had to cut that gym session a little bit short in terms of filming as there was a bit of confusion back and forth miscommunication around filming I messaged and emailed ahead of time to ask if it was going to be okay just wanted to be courteous make sure that there was nothing I needed to know no areas I couldn't be in that certain classes with members didn't want to be filmed etc etc just said look coming down on a day pass just want to make sure it's okay is it okay if Aaron hangs about with the camera and just films my session yeah yeah no problem all of that's fine so most of our members do that anyway so all good see you soon thought that was it job done then midway through my session I was told it was I was being charged £100 because it was deemed a professional photo shoot and I then spent the sort of 20-30 minutes in a bit of a back and forth on why I didn't believe that was the case, why I purposefully and intentionally messaged ahead of time to try and mitigate the sort of thing but it then ate up a lot of time, it sort of got very confusing and I kind of started to feel a bit uncomfortable and embarrassed just because I felt like a nuisance and it felt like I'd done everything right and it, it was kind of just laid on me in the same way. The example I used was it was like phoning ahead to a restaurant saying, look, I'm allergic to peanuts, will you be able to cater for us? Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. And then turning up and being told it's £100 because they need to bring in another chef who hasn't touched peanuts that day to be able to cook for you. So it was just, it was all a bit, a bit frustrating and confusing and I kind of didn't really know where I stood. And as I say, started to feel a bit uncomfortable, like all eyes on me as the guy trying to dodge a fee. But at the end of the day, I didn't want to spend 144 quid on one gym session because that's what it would have been for two day passes for Aaron and I, 22 quid each. Helicopter noise, if you can hear that. Plus the 100 quid that was being proposed for the professional photo shoot. Believe me, Aaron's photo and video skills are far from professional, but I joke, I joke. But yeah, it was all just a bit frustrating, a bit confusing, ate up a lot of time, which meant that I didn't get to do anything past my front squats, didn't get to do my kettlebell goblet squats into kettlebell reverse lunges, or my dumbbell split stance. RDLs, which was the rest of the session, so that was it after the um, front squats because it was a one and a half hour time slot, so had to get on the move. But uh, yeah, I say again, just that's just a summary of what happened really. I, I did everything I could ahead of time to so not to be unreasonable, didn't want to go charging in with the camera and just sort of acting like I own the place because I'm not a member, I want to be courteous. I always do this whenever I visit anywhere, I just want to make sure they're fine with it and don't want to seem as if I'm coming in just treating the place like I own it or anything like that because that's absolutely not what I want to do but it just felt a bit confusing, uh, uncomfortable and awkward at points so yeah anyway that was that, that was that, that's, that's how my afternoon went but nonetheless I don't want to make it like a smear campaign or oh, what a terrible experience it was just very frustrating and we got to a resolution in the end but it was just a complicated way of getting there so all in all that's how my afternoon went how was yours but i am going to crack on with some work i'm going to head to Bassey park and then we are out for dinner with my friends that i live with at university this evening for several beers and some delicious food so see you sure this beat in my dream You hear that? I forgot something. Just how much the pollution in London affects my asthma when I'm not used to it. So four by one K, scaled it back one as I couldn't get any air in for the last rep. After, well, after the fourth, basically, I thought, you know what, this is unwise. I might end up collapsing into the Thames and probably getting fined as well as being in a whole load of trouble. So. 4 by one k all on pace, but they felt significantly harder than they were meant to. Number one was fine. Number one was 3.41, felt RP7, 8-ish. And then every rep from then on just got progressively worse to the point where I was, I felt like I was fully redlining. Heart rate didn't reflect how badly I was breathing, but I just didn't feel like I could get any air in. So, should have taken my inhaler with me. Whoops, but to be honest, at this stage of getting used to that pollution when I moved down, when I've been up and down, etc when I've been working four days and in Edinburgh three days as I was early 2020. It does take my lungs a little while to get used to actually running at high intensity in London. So that's that. But what I'm gonna do now, just gone 6 p.m. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna get ready, and I'm gonna see you at Big Easy on the King's Road. I think this is, I don't even know what it is. I think that's fish. This is gonna be that. Wow. Good morning. 
So, couldn't really be bothered filming anything when I got in last night, as it was about half 11. We've been up since 3.45. I just wanted to go to bed, and that I did. Had a bit of a line this morning, so it's just coming up to 9 a.m. now. And we are having a coffee out on the balcony. Chelsea Harbour behind us, very nice. Although I can think of nowhere worse, I'd rather fall out of a boat than the Thames, but nonetheless. Rest of today is just cracking on with training session this morning. I've got an upper body session, maybe a swim as well. 17 meter pool, so I'll see how I get on, but I feel it might feel a bit strange, just constantly tumble turning at one end, but who knows, who knows. Upper body pump session, maybe a swim. Then we're over to Shoreditch, Spistlefields Way for some food, Sierra's friends. Then we're going bowling. Then we're playing pool tonight, having dinner somewhere as well. Then tomorrow, more of the same, catching up with a few more people. And we're flying home on the 7.15 on Wednesday. But that is an overview of our trip. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to yesterday. And other than that, not really much else left to say. Other than, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. The big three. And I will see you next time.